Want to know about Windows Server 2016 core? No problem, just see the video step by step. Subscribe our channel, ask Joy Banerjee, that's it. Thank you. Hello friends, this is Joy Banerjee from AIKD Support and today we will discuss about how to install VMware tools in Windows Server 2016 core. Okay, so uh, I've already created an article which shows that how you can install um, this VMware tool uh, on top of Windows Server 2016 core server but still I just want to just go through that exact steps how I'm doing it live so that I can show you okay these are the steps you need to follow okay <clears throat> so if you have any questions just you can shoot out and you do need to subscribe our channel because we are going to shoot out um, new videos um, every day but I missed out the last two days because uh, two or three days because I was a bit busy in another channels uh, so what what um, we are going to do is today I will show you how to do it okay let's move on to the server so now you can see um, this is a box in which this is a core box in which I have uh, launched the PowerShell okay so what I need to do is I need to mount the VMware tools first okay so what I will do is I will click this as install VMware tools okay so what it is going to do is it is going to mount a disk uh, which is going to have the VMware tools in it okay to get that we need to run like get ps drive and hit enter so now we can see that we can see like c drive uh, d drive and there are some um, registry keys as well showing us drives so powershell always treat everything as a drive so that, that it can really navigate you can really navigate to it okay so this is the d drive on which we need to go so i will hit t and do a ls or dir which you can do so you can see this is a vmware tools and this is the package which we need to run okay this is setup.64.exe okay so what you can do is you can write up like this setup 64 and hit tab it will auto complete and i will hit enter so this will going to trigger the <coughs> vmware tools i've already installed it so it will uh, give me an option the method is quite same because uh, it is you can see it is uh, launching here and it is going to give you the option to install okay so now i will click next so in case of uh, your you can uh, repair uh, you can do a complete install so let me remove it and show you up how to install it okay so we can remove it with this okay the same method which we need to follow and install it but there is something else in the end end of the video you will learn that how to check and validate that your vmware tools is installed or not okay so you need to stay till the end so that you can see that and understand how to identify um, this vmware tools is running on this particular windows server 2016 core core servers right so now you can see it is uninstalling so after that we uh, once this is done so we need to reboot okay so i will click yes So now you can see the server is rebooted. Let me log in. So I will hit Control Alt Del, and I will put the password. Now you can see we have logged in, and what I will do is I will start PowerShell. You can run PowerShell there as well, but I love to open a different window so that I can have a little bit more room to work with different. Uh, in case if I want to run run something on top of command line, I can do it as well as I can use uh, PowerShell. And you just need to make sure that uh, you are logged in with the administrator and you have the elevated feature, right? So you can see the command prompt is also open with administrator and this one is also open with administrator. So we need to do the same same uh, method here uh, to install like ps drive. I've just removed it and then I'm installing it again. So get ps drive and uh, we need to make sure that we have d drive here so i will do d i will do ls just to ensure that we have the information which we need okay so it says like setup.exe and this is a different uh, one minute what i need to do is i need to log back and remount the iso again to install vmware tool install yeah and 
I will do get ps drive okay now I need to go to D and this time I will do ls now I can see this is the setup file I should, which I am looking okay so after the reboot it was removed so we just remounted it back okay so now uh, we need to hit it up setup 64 okay if you do double tab it will automatically change the file uh, what are the files that file are available here so I will hit enter again it will try to launch the installation wizard and you can see it is already launched and we need to just navigate and we'll just go next I always do with complete you can go for custom as well it is better to go with complete so that you can install each and every component of VMware tools and drivers which are required to do the better interaction with the virtual machine okay so I can click finish here and click yes so it will reboot so after the reboot we are going to verify that the installation is completed properly or not okay so what what it should be like we need to know that okay um, the services of VMware tools is running right so again we cannot go to uh, services.msc and open it because it's a core box so what we will use is we will use powershell and we will also let you know let's say you don't know the service name right still we need to identify okay this is this would be the powershell service how i can identify that so the server is rebooted let me check okay put the password okay so what I'll do is I will start my favorite tool PowerShell CD slash okay Sales. okay now I need to check that VMware tools is installed or not so what I can do is I can check the service right I can check a process right so <clears throat> I will check the service here service name and I'm not sure the full name of that particular service so I can use a wildcard here like star and then I will type VM and star so what it will do is it will do a, like get service then hyphen name then in the wildcard we have VM so that means we are trying to look for the services which are containing the name with VM so I will hit enter so now I can see it is able to uh, see that VM tools I can identify this is VM tools VMware tools and it is in a running state so that means we have installed it it is running successfully this is it okay so if you have any doubts just shoot out in the comment section and do like this particular video and you need to subscribe our channel to get more videos like this okay so this is joy energy signing off from AIK ID support